So if you remember in solving big systems of linear equations, we've seen elementary operations that allowed us to produce equivalent systems that allowed us to actually produce an equivalent system that was actually easier to solve. Well, in fact, there's a parallel idea and theme here with matrices that I want to share with you, and I want to introduce to you the elementary row operations that we have for, for matrices. And you'll notice they parallel exactly with what we've done earlier with the systems of equations. You can always add a multiple of one row to another. You can always multiply a row by a non-zero constant. And you can always interchange two rows. Very similar to what we did with the equations, if you think back to it. So let me just illustrate these with a couple of um, quick examples. These are just kind of random examples here. So here's a, a matrix, a 3 by 4 matrix. And let's suppose that we just want to interchange the first and the third row. That means take this entire row here and, and reverse it, flip it with this row right here. So how would that look? Well, notice that the second row is going to be untouched, so I won't even touch that. But I'm going to write this one up here, negative 2, 1, negative 2, 5. And I'm going to write the first row now in the third row spot, 0, 0, negative 1, 3. Now, these two matrices are no longer equal to each other, but it is an operation that we can perform to imagine doing something with this matrix. So I'm not going to write an equal sign there, but you see how I use the, uh, the, one of the elementary row operations. Let's try another one. Just for fun, let's take this matrix, again, for no particular rhyme or reason, but just to practice these, these elementary row operations. And let's multiply the, the first row by 3, and let's... Um, uh, multiply the third row by negative 2, a negative a half, let's say. All right, so if we do that, what do we get? So if we take the first row and we multiply it by 3, then this becomes a 3, this is a 0, this becomes a negative 6, and this becomes a negative 3. I'm going to do nothing here, so I'm just going to write that out. And then in the third row, let me just uh, multiply through by negative a half. Again, there's no rhyme or reason for this. I'm just trying to illustrate how one actually goes about this. So you have to multiply every single element in the row by negative a half. So I get negative 3, negative 2, uh, wait, negative a half. So negative 1, rather, uh, negative, uh, a positive, look at me, positive 2, and then minus 5 halves. So I multiplied everything in this row by negative a half. So you could just see again how you can take a matrix and uh, transform it into a different matrix, which will be easy and convenient for us as we tend to uh, do some of the work that's parallel to solving those linear systems that we saw earlier. How about one last one just for fun? Here's a, a, a matrix, and I want to add negative 1 times the first row to the second row which again is kind of property one here, adding a multiple of one row to another. So I'm going to do nothing to the first row. I'm going to do nothing to the, th the third row. But I'm going to replace the second row by multiplying the first row by negative one and adding it to the second row. And I'll just denote that maybe by putting a little negative one here to remind me that's what I'm doing. And let's see what we're going to get for our new second row. So negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 1 times negative 3 is going to be 3 plus 4 is 7. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 plus negative 1 is 0. And negative 1 times 5 is negative 5 plus 0 is negative 5. So these operations, these elementary row operations, allow us to take one matrix and transform it into a different matrix. And the goal is going to be to transform it into a more simple matrix and simpler and simpler matrices until the matrices get so simple that we can actually look at the matrix and then extract some kind of information. So that's why these elementary row operations are so important and so great. Enjoy thinking about the elementary row operations in your life, and I'll see you soon.